Like, do you want to take off? Hmm, should I yes. continue? continue? Like my sister said in the introduction, Sambiza, Sambiza forest or whatever you call it is not a forest, actually. <laughs> it's a whole town. It's been lying to you. Islam. See all the terrorist groups, Hamas, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Taliban, Hezbollah, Boko Haram, all of them, up, up to more than five, are very present in Nigeria, actively present in Nigeria because they have to execute the Fulani conquest agenda while our people are dancing, creating stupid content on social media. All they are great is their breast and their back behind while people are being destroyed. Who we'll give you information, accurate information. Sambiza Forest is not a forest. It is a well-secured Islamic settlement. We already told you here that that Sharia area is self-determination that finally they have got themselves away from 1999 constitution. Sambiza Forest is their headquarters that they will use to come and do all the things they're doing. When they finish, they go back there. You can hear the man that will play the video. He says it's a world modern city with modern infrastructure, with strict Islamic laws, Sharia law. They're already built. That's their headquarters. Sambisa Forest is the headquarters of the conquest. Close to you. It has its own system and government. The language they speak there is Arabic. And sometimes Hausa language, but not English. Serious discipline, fake discipline, no lies, no cigarette smoking. They buy you if you do anything like that. This is, sounds like what they do in Afghanistan. When we tell you people that Afghanistan is coming close to you, you are not listening. Yet, the Western government, Nigerian government, they are aware of all these things going on. Because you can hear the man say that Red Cross Society, for those of you that are members of Red Cross Society, in the engineer. Red Cross Society and Nigerian government are involved in supporting terrorists and banditry. Just like they are involved in every other thing. This is all partnership. Yes. Partnership. Yeah, that's what it is. According to what the man said, he said they don't wear even English wears and shoes. It's military boots because they are combatant ready. Military uniform. The only difference is that they tie their hair with Taliban. Mm, can you imagine being kidnapped and you say you don't even want to leave the camp anymore? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Heavy military equipment. There. Communicating gadgets. Where are they coming from? They are coming through your seaports, Lagos seaports. Here when they say they brought a, a whatever, they are bringing a truck road. And all these military people bring them in. Nobody checks them. When you see Dangote bringing all the things, nobody's checking what he's bringing in. They're bringing uniform, bring on it, setting up their headquarters. Remember in uh, 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 this man, Muhammad, 1975. He commissioned the draft that became 1979 constitution. That 19 constitution, 1979 constitution is what is now 1999 constitution. You see, when they started dealing with us, we didn't even know. <laughs> They were busy putting the things because we are told that when Gawon was the president, that he, he was just a figurehead. That is this Mutala man that was in charge that he used to come for executive meeting with God. That Gawon used to fear this man, so they just put the Gawon as a figurehead and he was mooing around. See what they are doing to his people today. Please continue, don't watch alone. Help us to share because information must get to our people. We are so convinced that once our people understand what the issues are, they will do the right thing. Absolutely.